Hello everyone, my name's Ayla Bell, and this is part two to my rewrite of Miraculous Ladybug Origins. I will offer no context whatsoever, so if you want to know what's going on, check out part one first, and then head back here for part two. If you don't care about context, then welcome! And if you already know the context, then I thank you, and I welcome you as well. So sit back, relax, and listen to the continuation of the Origins rewrite. Master Fu had sat on this valuable piece of information for a while. He knew exactly who Hawk Moth was. Gabriel Agrest, his former faithful student and basically his adopted son. But due to the shame of having created Paris's most dangerous villain, he didn't want to fully admit his blunder to the young superheroes Ladybug and Cat Noir. Part of him was also hoping that everything was just a bad dream, and the nightmare would resolve itself at some point, but no. Gabriel was dead set on his plan and continued to terrorize Paris for the next few days in order to get the miraculous he believed was rightfully his. But Master Fu knew the longer he put this off, the more people would suffer. Would these teen heroes even take him seriously anymore if they realized his stupid mistake caused so many problems for so many people? He was supposed to be the one guiding them, and yet, there's no point in pondering on this even further, Master Fu thought to himself. I must take responsibility. And so, Master Fu finally revealed the identity of Hawk Moth to Ladybug and Cat Noir. Being completely shocked at hearing his father's name, Cat Noir accidentally blurted out that that was his father. Both Ladybug and Master Fu realized he was Adrian Agrest. Master Fu then felt even worse about everything, because now he involved Gabriel's son in this dangerous mission. A mission he can't even back out of because he's bound to one of the most powerful miraculous for life. Master Fu essentially believes he ruined the aggressed family. Mari, on the other hand, is trying to wrap her head around the idea that her crush was Cat Noir this whole time. Adrian and Cat Noir act completely different. She then thinks that she's such a fake fan for not recognizing Adrian, who was right there the whole time. And then she remembers that their superhero forms mask their true appearances, so there's a little bit of an excuse there. Hundreds of thoughts go through her mind as she tries to keep her composure, also wondering if she's said or done anything stupid since they started working together as heroes. She's completely lost focus on the severity of the situation at this point, but at least she manages to keep her own identity a secret. Cat Noir almost doesn't care that he just revealed his identity, he just questions Master Fu on what they'll do about his father. Like Mari, he can't seem to get his head straight on this whole thing and is low-key in denial about it. Master Fu tells him about the history between him and Hawk Moth, ending his explanation by saying that Hawk Moth must be stopped. It's at this point that Ladybug gets out of her own head and focuses on the issue at hand. Master Fu says that regardless of his personal feelings towards him, they need to deal with Hawk Moth. The most ideal plan would be to take away his miraculous. He may be bound to his Kwame, but he can't become Hawk Moth without the brooch. But if something goes wrong and they aren't able to get the miraculous away from him, they might have to execute a more permanent solution. Cat Noir gasps at the thought of losing his father. Seeing his distress, Ladybug tells him that it won't come to that. They'll do everything in their power to not hurt him and to only take his miraculous away. She wonders how they'll even go about this though. Cat Noir tells Fu and Ladybug that he'll handle this. Seeing their surprised faces, Cat tells them that his father will be more likely to listen to him, as Adrian, since they're family. He'll end this whole thing peacefully. No one else will have to get hurt. Master Fu is hesitant toward this idea, borderline thinking it's foolish since he knows Gabriel and how unhinged he is at the moment. Ladybug, however, encourages this plan, telling Cat that she trusts him. She wants this conflict to end ASAP, but realizes how hard this must be on Cat, so she'll let him deal with this his way. So, over the next few days, Adrian tries to confront his father throughout their daily lives about the whole situation. He never seems to find the right time to do so. He ponders on whether or not he could just take the miraculous when his dad was undressing or taking a shower or something, but he found that his father took it wherever he went and never allowed it to leave his sight, much to his dismay. Natalie, Gabriel's assistant, noticed Adrian eyeing his father's brooch and asked him what was wrong. Adrian played it off, saying it was nothing. Gabriel was a busy person, but it wasn't impossible to get him alone. Something always just seemed to be holding Adrian back. Gabriel, however, had no hesitation in his own plans, as his attacks against Ladybug, Cat Noir, and Paris occurred daily. 
Marinette, sympathetic to Adrian's plight, is initially very patient with him, enduring the attacks and giving her partner his space to work out this issue. She has a hard time still with Adrian and Kat being the same person and doesn't know how to feel about it, but eventually she becomes more troubled that she can't reveal herself to him since she can't fully support him the way she wants to. Every day, Ladybug asks Cat Noir how things are going with his father, and every day, Cat has a new excuse as to why he couldn't get his miraculous. She also noticed that Adrian slash Cat Noir was progressively looking more and more disheveled and exhausted the more time went by. He was even making mistakes in school and during crime fighting. Even Gabriel noticed his son looking troubled and out of sorts and tries asking him what's wrong. Even with this perfect opportunity to talk to his father about the whole situation, Adrian simply says he's just a bit stressed out by a big exam he has coming up. Gabriel asks Natalie for her advice regarding his son, and she says she'll talk to Adrian for him. Natalie takes Adrian off to the side and gently asks him if anything's wrong. She also says she saw right through his exam excuse and wants to know the truth. She says she and his father are worried about him. Adrian asks what to do if he found out a horrible secret about someone he cares about. Natalie asks, is the secret harmful to this person or others? Adrian says it is. Natalie tells him that if he truly cares about this person, he needs to confront them and try to help them. And if contacting the authorities is necessary, he should do that as well. Or maybe do that first, depending on how dangerous it is. Even if the person will be mad at him, he needs to consider the well-being of this person and others above sentimentality. Adrian agrees with this and thanks her. The days go by with the same routine of Hawk Moth's attack and Adrian not talking to his father. One night, after defeating another Akuma, Ladybug, now with the rose-colored glasses finally taken off, has reached her height of annoyance and frustration regarding everything, and she blows up at Cat Noir, telling him that she's sick of them almost getting killed. She also hates seeing Cat Noir so exhausted and miserable. She tells him that if he doesn't confront his father tonight, she will deal with him tomorrow, with or without Cat's help. Cat tells her that he doesn't want Ladybug to go against his father because he's scared it'll turn into a big fight. Everyone will find out who Hawk Moth is, and his father will likely go to jail. He doesn't want to be without both of his parents. Ladybug is sympathetic to his plight. She understands the importance of family and knows that this is hard on him, but people are suffering and most can't defend themselves. What his father is doing is wrong and he needs to be stopped. She tells him that if he wants to avoid the worst case scenario, he needs to confront his father. Cat was also scared of what his father would potentially do to him. He loved his father, he really did, but it was a scary thought that his father would be mentally and emotionally capable of hurting others and not caring about the damage he was causing. He was really hoping his father would stop on his own, but Cat knew that wouldn't happen. He had to face him. Not too long after Adrian returned home, he requested a meeting with his father in his father's study. Adrian finally got the courage to tell Gabriel that he knew his identity as Hawk Moth. Strangely enough, Gabriel was not surprised about Adrian knowing. He says that Natalie figured out that Adrian knew by the clues he was giving off in the past few days. Gabriel apologizes to Adrian for the stress that must have put him through. For a moment, this softer side of his father gave Adrian relief and hoped that his conversation would have favorable results. Adrian then realizes that his father alluded to the fact that Natalie also knew Hawk Moth's identity, which was a tad concerning. Where was Natalie anyway? Gabriel asks if Master Fu was the one who told Adrian, but Adrian just remains quiet, unsure if he should reveal that information. Gabriel assumes that this is the case and is aggravated at the old man for involving his innocent son. Gabriel then proceeds to explain to Adrian why he's doing what he's doing as Hawk Moth, trying to bring back his wife, Adrian's mother. He expresses that he wants to make everything perfect for them again, and that he wants Adrian to help him in his plight. Adrian is conflicted because he does want his mom back, but at the same time, he doesn't want to die. His father doesn't seem to know that he's Cat Noir, but in order for that wish to be made, both Ladybug and Adrian would have to lose their lives in order to lose their bonds with their miraculous. Even if his life weren't on the line, Adrian doesn't want people to suffer just because he wants to see his mom again. Adrian tells his father that in order for that wish to be granted, Ladybug and Cat Noir will have to die. Gabriel calmly says he'll make it all right in the end. They won't stay dead for long, he promises. It's at this point that Adrian truly realizes that his dad is willing to kill in order to bring his mother back. If he finds out his son is Cat Noir, what will he do? Will he stand down or double down? 
The fact that he didn't know the answer made Adrian terrified for himself and Ladybug, the girl he was in love with. Adrian says that he won't join his father. He won't support anything he's doing. He even says that his mother would not appreciate anything that his father is doing and would reprimand him. Disappointed, Gabriel sighs and has Adrian forcibly locked in his room, taking away his phone and his electronics so that he can't contact any authorities. He even has guards block the door. Gabriel is hoping that Adrian will eventually come to his senses and aid him in his quest. Meanwhile, Adrian sits on his bed completely disheartened. Plague tries to cheer him up, but nothing seems to work. A few moments later, outside of Adrian's window, Ladybug can be seen hanging off of her yo-yo string, looking into Adrian's room. She knocks on the glass. Adrian is shocked to see her and he lets her in. She reveals she's been on the roof to his mansion the entire time, waiting to see what would happen. And by the look of Adrian's face, she can tell that things didn't go well. Adrian goes back to sitting on his bed, looking down and feeling sorry for himself. He tells Ladybug what happened. Not wanting him to be upset, she tries comforting him, telling him they'll come up with a different plan. It'll be fine. She apologizes that he had to go through all of that stress on his own the past several days, all for this to be the result. Ladybug asks him what he wants to do. After thinking about it for a few more moments, Adrian gets a determined look on his face as he transforms into Cat Noir. Not saying anything to Ladybug, she understands what he's getting at and they nod to each other and exit out of the room via the window. While Gabriel walks through the hallway of his home, he is confronted by Ladybug and Cat Noir. Gabriel is shocked to see them and asks how they got into his house. They tell him not to worry about that and they also tell him that they know he's Hawk Moth and how Master Fu told them everything. They also tell him that it was their plan to send an Adrian to confront him to see if he'd listen to reason from his son and end this peacefully. But, seeing as how he's not willing to reform for his own son, it was their turn to deal with him. They straight up say they're here to take his miraculous. Gabriel, hearing that they were in contact with Adrian, realized that Adrian is probably not in his room anymore. He demands that they tell him where his son is. The duo reveal that he is safe, but they won't return him until they're sure that his father is no longer a villain. He's honestly safer with them than with Gabriel. Ladybug holds out her hand and tells Gabriel to hand over his miraculous. They don't want to fight. Even Gabriel's Kwame encourages him to stand down. Gabriel hesitates as he doesn't want to lose his son. However, he's already come this far, so he vocally and adamantly refuses. Ladybug and Cat Noir prepare to physically restrain him and prevent him from transforming, but at that moment, a giant monster crashes through the wall, distracting the two heroes. Gabriel takes this as an opportunity to get away. Ladybug and Cat Noir frantically question what that thing is as they try to fight it off. Cat looks around for his father, but says he lost track of him. They wonder where this monster even came from. This is when a lady with blue skin, an elegant gown, and a feather fan reveals herself from a safe distance, telling the two of them that she won't allow them to interfere with Gabriel's plans. Another Miraculous Holder? Hawk Moth has allies? If his father is Hawk Moth, then this lady must be... Natalie? Cat wonders out loud. Ladybug asks who Natalie was. The lady then tells them she is Mayura, and she will do whatever it takes to help Hawk Moth. Cat was certain that this was Natalie. Ladybug and Cat Noir spend some time fighting the monster as Mayura helps Gabriel escape without a trace. After a while, the monster disappears out of thin air, leaving nothing but a white feather. After everything is said and done, the two heroes are left staring down at the destruction caused by that monster, listening to police and firefighter sirens as they come closer to the aggressed mansion. Cat Noir suddenly embraces Ladybug. This initially makes her blush, but she realizes he's shaking and crying. After all of this, he's finally broken down. She hugs him back and says how sorry she is about everything. Cat blames himself and said he was too weak to do anything. Ladybug assures that they couldn't predict what would happen. They had no idea a giant monster would come out of nowhere or that there would be another miraculous holder. It's not his fault. Cat is also upset that he probably lost his father too. He feels so alone in this situation. Ladybug tells him that he's not alone and that she's here for him. Thinking it over for a few more moments, Ladybug detransforms, revealing her identity as Marinette. Cat is surprised by this revelation. Mari tells him that they're in this together, for better or worse. She says she doesn't know how, but they'll stop Hawk Moth and Myra, and they'll bring his father back home. She asks that he just be a bit patient for now. Be patient and trust her. Cat looks into her sincere eyes and says he trusts her. Mari holds up her fist and says, 
So, partners? He smiles at her and says, partners. Then they pound their fists together. The two of them then see the police and firefighters investigating the scene below. As Marinette transforms back into Ladybug, Cat says he has no idea where he's going to live now. His guardian is gone. He might have to go live with his aunt and cousin who live nowhere near the area. If he has to commute back and forth just to fight Hawk Moth, he'll never get anywhere in time. Saving the day will be impossible. Ladybug comes up with an idea. After doing some quick research, she uses her powers to create a very official looking government document as well as a perfectly crafted forged letter saying that Gabriel Agrest gives full custody of Adrian over to Chloe Bourgeois' parents. Since the Bourgeois family was close friends with the Agrests, it didn't seem too out there that Gabriel would leave Adrian to them. The forged letter also mentioned that Gabriel was going on a trip in some obscure location for inspiration for his next fashion line and didn't know when he'd return. If this isn't believable enough, Ladybug could also create a fabricated video of Gabriel saying all of this to make it more legitimate. So, after everything was said and done, Adrian began his new life living with Chloe and her family, much to Chloe's happiness and Marinette's dismay. Still, she was happy she could help Adrian stay. She was even happier that she got to keep her partner. Since Chloe's parents were more hands-off, Adrian had the freedom to not only be a hero, but to be a normal teen during his off time with Mari and his other new school friends. Ladybug and Cat Noir officially start their endeavor of stopping Hawk Moth, who has a secret lair somewhere and continues as a kumatization of people in his attempt to take out Ladybug and Cat Noir. With the help of Mayura, things will certainly be tricky, but Ladybug and Cat Noir are up for the challenge for the sake of their loved ones. Now the story truly begins. But as for now, that's all there is. There isn't any more. <laughs>